So I recently bought a MacBook Air and I was looking for an external monitor to plug into it so I didn't have, so I had a bigger screen and a very high quality screen to uh, do my work on and whatnot. So hopefully this video can help you out. I think I found one that I indeed like. There's a lot, I was very, very overwhelmed. Uh, you know what I'm talking about if you've searched for 4K monitors. Um, wow, they've all got good reviews, but they've got, um, you know, plenty of people that have had issues with whatever, whatever. So it's a bit of a gamble. And so I made this video hopefully to help you make a good purchasing decision. So here it is, the one I went with. It's a Samsung right out of the box. It's pretty simple, but it's a 28 inch force, uh, 4K screen and it got really good reviews. I'll put a link in the description below for this one and other ones. Now be careful. You don't want to uh, have your kids make slime, for example, around it when you're unpacking it and you want to make old ultra certain that it's around you know you don't want to drop it or ding it keep put it on the bed keep it on soft carpet right when you set this thing up uh, here's the stand right out of the box we'll go ahead and install this for you um, the stand is very very sturdy but the trade-off i think is and you'll see once we get it uh the the computer set up um see how the it's kind of a v-shaped well those pieces kind of stick out a little further than i'd like them to um, and I wish they were a little flatter so you could actually put your MacBook on top of it so it rests so you can kind of scoot it back. But anyway, we'll put these two black pieces together and then uh, very, very easy, very self-explanatory. You don't even need a screwdriver. You can just hand tighten that if you want. It comes with a little clip, but for certainty, you can uh, use a screwdriver to tighten that up and then fold that clip down. Now to adhere this to the back of the monitor, it slides in like that. And notice how it's kind of on the edge of the bed. If it's only on the floor, you're going to have issues with it leaning on the top part of the monitor. So have a little underhang here so the, the stand can kind of hang over a little bit while the monitor still stays flat. And using two hands, I'm picking that up very, very carefully and bringing that to the desk site. Okay, so here is kind of what it looks like. Now back to the some of the included accessories. We've got a power cord, obviously, and they've included an HDMI HDMI cable. So both ends are HDMI. So we'll get the power cable included. It's got a little uh, transformer box or whatever this is. And we'll get this plugged in. There's only one way you can plug it in, like this. If you try to flip it the other way, it won't, it won't work. And make sure that is secure. And the back side of the monitor, all of your inputs come in kind of, uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. But for now, we're going to run the power cord underneath my new desk. And I've got these cool little brass plates here. i got to tighten those down, but very fancy looking. Now, because uh, my channel here is a DIY channel, I'm going to show you a little bit about my desk here in a second, but let's get this plugged in first and locked down. There we go. That is the power to the back of the monitor. So I made this desk myself, a little side note, shameless plug here. So bear with me before we get back to the monitor. Um, this is a really cool job. It cost me next to nothing. I have basically stained it and uh, drilled the holes myself, and it's kind of a nice permanent uh, workspace in my closet opposed, as opposed to throwing a desk uh, back there. So it was custom made and I'm pretty happy with it. So kind of got an old vintage look to it. And I'm going to make another video. Uh, you can search my channel on how to make an alcove desk for your closet by hand. So let's get back to this. Now we've got the HDMI cable that we're putting in. Now the, my MacBook Air does not have an HDMI input. So I had to buy this little adapter piece. Again, I'll put descriptions down below. If you get a lot, what do I need, what do I need? Check those out, very easy to, to find. But it uh, allows me to uh, convert the HDMI cable from the monitor to the USB-C input on my MacBook Air. Now, as far as turning this puppy on, it's got one singular button underneath right there. Can you see that? And think joystick, right? You can push the button forward, backwards, left, or right, or push it all the way up, as in uh, not forward, but up, and you will actually execute the command that you give it. 
So I think it's kind of cool. It's a little annoying because you got to, there's a little bit of a learning curve there. You got to, okay, which way is it? Forward, left. Okay, fine. But uh, I thought it was pretty intuitive, better than buttons on the side or underneath or in front. So, um, and pretty easy uh, once you get the hang of it. So we'll go ahead and get this plugged in and let's just look at the colors. Now I'm no tech expert at all, but right off the bat, I'm noticing an exact match. Well, exact, what is exact, right? But a, I, I can't dis, discern the, the difference very well between the colors. It might be a little lighter as opposed to darker, but they look really true to the MacBook Air. And that's what I'm going off or going for, right? And you can play around with the settings. For example, on your MacBook Air, you might have to go in and tell your display settings that your new monitor is going to be on the left if you want to have a draggable uh, screen. So if you want plan on using both monitors at the same time, check this out. You can bring that over. The colors are really rich, really smooth. I wish the mouse were a little smoother. There does see, seem to be a little ghost tracking for the mouse, uh, but maybe that's just the mouse. I'm not sure, um, but that would be my biggest complaint. But imagery, both pictures and uh, video, super impressed with. Let me pull up my home page to my channel. Yep, another shameless plug. Sorry, I'm not sorry. And we'll go ahead and play this video on the MacBook Air monitor. So you get a sense for the colors. And let me come over here and do the same thing. There we go. So I'm really happy with the colors and the playback on this. Now, I'm not a gamer, so I'm not going to plug in. I don't, I don't game. So, you know, is this going to be a good gaming monitor for you? I don't know, but I do a lot of video, a lot of photo and everything else that you would do on a computer, right? Word processing, Excel, internet, um, email, things like that. So this is going to suit my needs really, really well. I think. <laughs> and this is a 4K monitor too. Let's not forget that. So the color is just brilliant and you can operate this as the main screen. If you see, I have my air in a little holder over there so you can totally make it work with, uh, if you want to save space now, see the stand, how it kind of kicks out a little bit more than maybe what you would like. It'd be nice if that were flat or you could actually put your MacBook on there. Um, or you could slide your MacBook underneath a little bit if you're, so it's kind of out of the way. So that would be my only, um, one of my few concerns about this uh, monitor. Now this monitor does boast a lot of other settings and I'm not gonna get into all that. You can certainly research it. But one thing that I thought was cool was a picture in picture. So you can actually, if you have like a PC and a Mac, for example, or two different computers, you can make sure one's plugged in with HDMI and the other is plugged in with, um, I think it's DisplayPort. I'm not, not as familiar with that one, but check this out. So we've got my Mac up on this one and you can play around with the settings. You see how it's really like vertical, basically cut your screen in half and says, okay, this part is uh, for your Mac and the other part is for your PC. So that is really cool if you're, I don't know, if you have like, um, you could probably put a DVD player on and play a movie on one side while you're doing work on the other side. Or you can certainly pop back and forth between personal and professional. If you have like a Mac personal computer and a PC uh, professional computer, right, for work. Um, and you can readjust those a little bit. That was a, a, a nice feature. And now I have just the PC up as opposed to the Mac, just the Mac. So we can get a sense for what that color looks like and whatnot. And... Again, a beautiful picture for PC and Mac, and I'm really excited about this monitor from a name brand. Let's get a little closer look there at the colors. And hopefully this video has helped you make a good purchasing decision. If it has, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.